I, I, I. What it is, world? You already know who it is, your boy 101 Day Exclusive. Back in this bitch. Trying to give y'all another uh, informative video. You know what I'm saying? Help the artists out. You know how I do. And this one gonna be about how to build and grow a solid fan base. Keep them engaged with your music, your videos, everything that you got to offer. So, we are gonna jump right into it right now. So, let's go. If you ain't got fans, you ain't gonna have no solid music career flat out. Like I'm standing on, ain't nobody can't tell me different. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be putting out mixtapes, doing shows, stand seen, be out here. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So I got uh, like a list of 20 tips that I'm about to give you now, and this just gonna, you know, hopefully help help you guys out, females, you know, female artists out there. Yeah, so, but, disclosure, you must have a knowledge in making music, creating your own music, and know how to burn on a CD, you know what I'm saying, and write on it, put it in the sleeve and shit like that, so, that's it, but other than that, I'm gonna tell you about it. Alright, we back. Now, look, I'm gonna make this real quick and easy, but first you gotta know that you must have some great ass content. I mean, your songs better be dope, better not be garbage, high quality product. You got to be recording at a great studio, great mix, all of that good shit. And then you got to know how to burn on a CD, burn multiple copies of your CD, and get them out here. Right? First thing first, online or offline, regardless of where you finna market and try to grow your fan base, you got to know something. You got to know how am I finna get my fans contact information to where I'll be able to hit them up whenever I'm releasing something, you know, and that's an important thing to know, you either got to use like a phone or like your email address or a Facebook or Twitter, get people to like and follow you, that way you can keep in touch with them that way, but this is something that you will need to know, you got to know where you're going to have everybody going, because man, any up, get some people to come fuck with you. You know, get enough money to where you go get you some CDs. Burn them up, put your songs on them, some hot shit. Put your name and your info on the CDs. And just get out here. And while you selling them, all the people that may be interested in them, some people may not. So you might have to just throw some, throw some out. But shit, the people that are interested, if they do buy, make sure you take a picture with them. Ask them, do they got that Facebook or Twitter? You want to get their information, like their number and their name, because that would be a potential fan that's going to start coming to your shows, possibly loving and enjoying your content. So that's the most important thing right there. And that's why I encourage you to put your email address or phone number on your CDs as well, because people will be able to hit you up that way. And, man, the six degrees of separation, you never know who somebody know, you know. You about know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody right now that can get you to where you need to be. So that's the best thing about marketing and advertising your product correctly. You know, uh, have some type of online presence. Get a YouTube account. Start uploading some videos. If you ain't got money for videos, use Windows Movie Maker and put your song to a picture and upload it that way. Make sure you got good tags and proper titles on the YouTube to get you a Facebook account. You know, it's personalized for location, so you can sign up and everybody that's in your location, you'll be able to add them and share all your content online that way. So that'd be very cool. Twitter the same way, but it's more so a lot of mainstream people on there you about can link up with. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, do shows. Get, get out there and do some shows. You know, you can go to AftonShows.com. It's a booking agency that you can sign up for, and they actually book shows for you, you know, being that you can get people to show up and sell tickets, you know, which is cool, and it'll be an opportunity for you. There's also a lot of other places I know in the area or maybe in your local area that you can go perform and open up, and you know, and if, even if you can't perform, open up, just go there, pass out your CDs, network with some people. You might run into some people that you need to know, so that's always great. You just gotta know where you wanna where you wanna go. It's a lot of places you can promote your music, but just focus on one for right now. I like to use YouTube, so you know different stuff for different folks. And you really, you know, you might have to do a footwork yourself starting off, but 
I mean, if you got money to invest in yourself, you would really wouldn't have to do none of this. Or if you got a positive, supportive team that really believe in you and what you got to offer, a lot of this shit may be not even in your element. You know, you go to the next video or something like that. But like I was saying, you can do this shit on your own. But if you got money, you ain't going to need nobody for real. You ain't going to need to put in that work yourself. That's what I meant to say, you know. Because you can pay for promoters, you can pay for, you know, managers. You know, you're not really not supposed to pay for a manager, but you can. There's people out there that will, you know, there's a lot of people that's willing to work for hire and shit like that. Advertisers, promoters, people that sell your CD. You can you can have your people selling CDs for you for ten dollars, and you know you just make a dollar off each sale or something like that. Just make it to where you actually getting out here and getting pushed out here. So. You really don't have to do all the footwork yourself. So, but if you if you don't even have a supportive team and shit like that, like, there's plenty of ways to branch out online. You know, I pay for a lot of services to where advertising or where they can blast my music out to thousands of people and you know engage that way. There's a lot of people that will you can pay them for uh, solo advertisements, and that's where they blast your music out to thousands of people for a flat rate and you you hooking people instantly instantly just make sure you have a way for them to follow you on the back end so that's all for it for today you know what i'm saying and hopefully y'all learn something from this video stay tuned because i got some some more beats some free beats i'm gonna let y'all get shit like that it's 20 more tips y'all see them all down below i got the script wrote so Fuck with me and shit. Another note, another school. way to get some fans too. Yeah. Do a lot of remixes. Like take instrumentals and rap over them bitches. Put them on YouTube and put the artist name, put remix. Make sure it's some hot shit that's out right now because you don't get a lot of heavy play on that shit and just stay consistent on that. Or you can beef with somebody, start some shit, start some controversy, and you're going to get some people <laughs> on your back. I'm telling you, that's like you're going to get some fans. So fuck with your boys one on one, and I'm out.